So I'm inside of Outlook Online here and I'm in the scenario where I want to send a message to someone to try and arrange a meeting with someone externally to my organization where I don't have visibility into their calendar. I'm going to click on the top navigation here on add-ins within my message and I'm going to select the Boomerang add-in. On the right hand side now it's going to log me into Boomerang using my identity that I have within my tenant here of Office 365. And then what I can do is I can actually say, look, I don't want this email to go out straight away when I click send, but I do want it to come out on um, Friday, tomorrow for me, and I'm going to change it to 9 o'clock in the morning just as soon as they get into the office. And I'm just going to put this down that it's going to get sent to uh, Chris Johnson, who is an external person within my tenant here, because I don't have access to their calendar. And you can see here I could, um, I've could i got that exact time, but what I want to be able to do is ask them when they're available. So I've clicked the Suggest Times, which has brought me up this boomerang pop-up here. And I'm able to say that I want to send this to a few people. Um, so for instance, I can send it here to, to Chris. And we're going to talk about Discuss boomer, Boomerang Add-in. And it's going to be for 60 minutes. And what I can say is, look, you know, I've got a late lunch on Friday here, so probably want to schedule all after that. So I'm going to suggest that time slot, this time slot, and that time slot there. And then what I'm going to do is insert that into my email. And you'll see now it's injected into the email. Um, here are some times that are available, and I could reword this, and it will give me a, a graphical picture here with some hyperlinks where they'll be able to pick which one they want. So I can send that to Chris now. Uh, so I need to catch up about Boomerang add in and I can go and click send there. Before I do that what I can also do as well as share, suggesting times is I could go through and actually share my availability. So very similar to the out of the box feature with Inside Outlook but the nice thing is I could say for the next week maybe for the next three days I could choose whether I want it to include the weekends or not and I could even say look I don't really want to deal with Chris outside of um, 10 till 4 a.m. Uh, 10 a.m. till 4 p.m. for instance and I could even say I only want it to deal with because Chris is in New York the Eastern time frames there as well and when I insert that into my calendar it'll also inject additional things into there based on what events I have and in this case I only have an event on um, Friday at 2 p.m. which was that currently was that late lunch and it's 2 p.m. from uh, Eastern time as well and they even have the ability here with a hyperlink that they can go through and, and click and view that within their own time zone as well in a, in a custom way. Now it's been known in the past that Chris doesn't respond to emails very quickly. So rather than me flag this email via the typical thing you do in Outlook with follow-ups here, what I can also do is have it remind me. So I can say that I'm going to remind me within two days or maybe tomorrow morning or tomorrow afternoon for instance, um, that if there is no reply, um, I want it to ping me or I could just say regardless. So this could be just a case of in a month's time I might want to just you know remind myself I had this meeting set up and not heard anything. But if I don't get a reply from Chris um, by um, just before lunchtime tomorrow it's actually going to remind me via an email that Boomerang sends to me. It's a really neat way of keeping in touch without having to use the follow-ups as well and gives you a little bit more flexibility that you don't have to uncheck the follow-up if you have replied and this won't send the email if, if Chris has actually replied there. So I'm going to send that off to Chris now and he'll receive that email. So I'm now logged in as Chris Johnson here inside of Outlook and you'll see that when I jump in here and I select that email I'm going to see the explanation that was sent to me before prior with the different options I have here. And I can actually say well actually this 10am option suits me fine. I can click on that option and what that will actually do is it will have selected that 10 a.m. slot here and I could actually change it on the fly within here and, um, and and pick this one as the selected option. I can suggest that maybe we'll do this via uh, Skype and actually put in a note that um, on the East Coast at, at this point and I can click confirm. And that will actually go away and create that meeting invite now based on based on the fact that CJ has confirmed that there with me in my calendar. And you'll see now that Boomerang has sent me a meeting invite there to accept that. And if I went into my Outlook, I would accept that and then that would actually be available um, on my calendar. So now if I go over to my calendar view uh, with inside of Outlook, you'll see that that event is now available on that Friday here um, where we're going to go and discuss that.
So when I'm in my Outlook Rich client here, again as myself and not as Chris now, you'll see that I actually have that Discuss Boomerang add-in and I can actually open that up and see the details that have come through about being on Skype and, and the time zones that have been configured here. If I look at the scheduling and the tracking, it's actually saying that CJ is accepted. I haven't actually accepted that yet. So I could go back to the appointment here and actually go and accept that um, from a tracking perspective as well. When I go back to my inbox now, you'll see that it's confirming that Chris Johnson has actually accepted and confirmed the 10 a.m. on Friday the 14th. And you'll also see that I get the acceptance sent back to me from um, where Chris had accepted that within his Outlook client as well. And I could have done this in Boomerang directly from my mail client as well. You can also use Boomerang directly with inside of Outlook 2016. And you'll see in the top right corner when you create a new message, you can actually launch Boomerang without going through the Office Add-ins button. And it'll immediately create that task pane on the right hand side. And I can start doing things like remind me and so forth directly inside this client too. So hopefully this has showed you the power of Office Add-ins with inside of Outlook here and that Boomerang can make your productivity with inside Outlook a lot more powerful.